Alan, tell me about Fly Me to the Moon, which is in theaters and then coming to Apple TV Plus. Yes. Well, Fly Me to the Moon is thankfully not inspired by real events. Uh, it's the story of the uh, Apollo 11 moon landing. Um, what's happening at this point in time is that uh, public public support of the Apollo missions, the Apollo program, is waning. Uh, no one, the, the world doesn't believe we'll ever get to the moon. Uh, in fact, Congress is thinking about defunding uh, the Apollo program. And so it's up to uh, dark agent Mo Burkus, played by Woody Harrelson, to, uh, to get support back for the uh, Apollo mission. He hires uh, Scarlett Johansson's character. I will find it here. Um, sorry. I'm looking at... Damn it. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's character. She is a PR agent. She is great at her job. and uh, b- But because she's a woman, she's marginalized. And so uh, she is hired by the dark agent to basically go into NASA, uh, promote the... Uh, the the uh, Apollo program, uh, get uh, congressional funding, and uh, as a side mission, uh, prob- maybe have to fake the actual landing uh, during its broadcast. Uh, yeah, there's th- there's this shadowy character played by Woody Harrelson named Mo Burkus, mm-hmm. who works directly for the president, and they don't want anything to go wrong, yes. so they convince Scarlett Johansson's character, Kelly, Kelly. Jones, uh, that's her character's name, um, to fake footage of the moon landing in case something goes wrong. They have to pre- at least pretend to land on the moon, no matter what, to basically beat the Russians. Yes, this now, did we, not happen. Right now, what we haven't mentioned this, is this is, a, this is a romance too between yes. uh, between Kelly and uh, uh, Cole. Cole Davis Cole is Davis. the character with Channing Tatum. See, what I do, Alan, is I have all the info in front of me, I which makes yeah. me sound smart. Yeah. Well, I do. I have the review I wrote in front of me, and and, <laughs> and then my dyslexia is mixing all the words up together. And, uh, so you have and Scarlett. I'm, Tatum. I'm, going, I'm going. Scarlett. I know I put. I know I put the character's name on here. I have everyone else's name on here, and then. Uh, but because I decided to take creative license in my review, I didn't. I oh, chose a fine. different way to reveal Scarlett Johansson's character than the normal way. So there this, we go. It's a weird romantic comedy. And Scarlett's character, Kelly, is so annoying. It's, she, it's all the modern stuff that, y- you know, she's, you know, feisty and she has like a secret past yeah. that haunts her about her and her mother being saleswomen. Right. It was just but- weird. And I love, by the way, this movie pissed me off. I love films about NASA. Love them. Documentaries, stories about the time that are accurate and this to try to make a comedy out of all of this and not a funny one. A Jim rash plays this director character that is, he's very flamboyant. It's just so uh, he's a flamboyant film director. I'm a director. I'm directing the scenes of landing on the moon and he's flirting with the like secret service agents. It's so dumb. Like I, I wanted to like this movie. I'm like, and they shot at NASA. I mean, amazing scenes of of these giant warehouses with equipment. I've been to JPL on a tour, uh, jet propulsion laboratory in Pasadena. I've been there. It's amazing. You can see these huge buildings where they're assembling like um, probes and satellites. Like it's, like the detail that they go into it's it's incredible like the work and and to have it just turn into a like a nothing thing and it's it wouldn't bother me if it was funny it wouldn't bother me if it was funny it's not funny it's it's annoyingly modernized in terms of like the attitudes and uh, I, I walked out just really not liking this film. So I can't recommend it. Alan, what about you? No, I can recommend it. I, I liked it. What? Look, it's not. It's not. What? Look, it's not the greatest movie ever made. Uh, it's it's a passable movie. Uh, I'll just say that. It probably should have gone right to Apple TV as opposed to going to the theaters. 
Um, in terms of what you say about uh, the Kelly Jones character, I mean, it's very, very typical of 60s, uh, the 60s feminism movie, uh, films, you know, Doris Day and all that stuff. Uh, right. It's it's very on par with that. I mean, I think it captured the spirit of, of the 60s in that. And look, I like the fact that they made no attempt to say that this, this, this movie really happened. Um, you know, it just it just took the uh, the setting uh, and made a rom com out of it. And you know, the best I can say is it. You know, I laughed at times. Um, I thought, uh, you know, there were, you know, it could have been better than it was, but it wasn't as bad. And so, I it really gets a a marginal recommendation from me. Um, well, it gets a non recommend from me. I yeah. I just uh, wow, yeah, yeah. like. Yeah, Ray Romano. I really love Ray Romano in this movie. Um, I like all the actors. Yeah. I like Channing Tatum. I like Scarlett Johansson. Ray Romano. And there's like bit parts by actors whose names I don't know who yeah. were also very good. Those two scientists, the sort of nerdy, geeky scientists, the pair. Yeah. The, the thing about this is funny. It, it should have been, it really should have either leaned into the rom-com or leaned into the, the sci-fi com. Uh, sci-fi comedy um because i thought the rom-com if you look at it just as a rom-com it works until you get to this fake moon landing where uh where you know a large chunk of this movie is about that and that has nothing to do with romance uh i mean you get the idea of how that is brought into bringing the two characters together maybe uh and uh, but um you know it, it's it, it was a little bit all over the place but i still had a good time with it you know I I did not have a good time, um, but it, it, you know what it feels like? This is a streaming movie. It's fine. At the end of the day, it's fine. It's two hours, light entertainment, not going to change your life. It's not great. It's not bad. It's yeah. streaming. That's yeah. what, that's what, that's what you can say about a lot of films. Now it's not great. It's not bad. It's streaming. I mean, if they had lesser stars other than Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum starring this, it would have gone to streaming. But because you have those two, that's why it gave it. It gets the uh, the theatrical boost, and we'll see what kind of star power they bring in this weekend. Well, I'll just say this: the character I like the most in the movie is NASA. The <laughs> the no, seriously. No, I get setting, it. I get what you're saying. The rocket ships, the the setting. Like I was like, God. I want, I've never toured NASA, mm -hmm. so I would like to go. Like, like this may, just made me want to go tour NASA. Yeah. But the story and everything else was like, oh, it, it, it was just, it was bad. Yeah. I've been it there. Was, it was bad. I've been so there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It, it gets a mixed review yeah. from me. Okay. <laughs>